Okay, so in the last video I made, Jesus showed me a seek and word find game that concerned Puerto Rico prophecy, and the last word that I solved for was the word tsunami. And when I made the video on that vision, I also decided to include information about the tectonic plates under the Atlantic Ocean, and I explained that the asteroid hit could cause so much vibration that the tectonic plates would move, and they'd cause a volcano eruption in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and could lead to New York, also to be hit by a tsunami. And so after I made the video, I thought of it again, and then I asked Jesus if it was right for me to let people know about the tectonic plates and about what could happen to New York. And so I went to sleep that night, and I woke up to see another vision. And so in that vision, it was a picture of uh, planet Earth, and it was upside down, where Florida was underneath. And then after that, the planet, you know, it zoomed away, and you could see the planet, and the whole planet was just shaking. And so, you know, the asteroid hit, now the planet's shaking. And then it zoomed back, and it went to the water, and it did not look at, like a giant tsunami wave, but it looked like vibration waves. And then I saw the Statue of Liberty, or it showed me the Statue of Liberty. And the Statue of Liberty had fallen into the water so that the head was sticking out of the water and the right arm, you know, that goes up to the sky was sticking out of the water. And uh, this was the closest picture I could find, you know, but that had a the stump on it. Uh, but so the, and, and that right around the elbow, it was a stump. And so then you could see, you know, that uh, the asteroid will bring an earthquake so strong that it will break the Statue of Liberty. And if this shake is going to be that strong, then, wow, you know, what's it, what's going to happen to all the buildings and, uh, and our houses, for that matter? You know, is, is anything going to remain standing? And so what we need to do, or what I'd, what I'd like for us to do, is if we could pray for the world. You know, it's like, um, and so a suggestion is for us to pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. And it has three main phrases, you know, one for the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so if the people, if there, there may be some people out there that are like, well, where does it say about the Holy Spirit and all this? So I have the phrase, you know, I have a, the section of the Bible that describes, you know, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So if you go to the New King James Version and uh, the book of John, chapter 14, and then verses 15 through 17 and 26. So if you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray. Let me, okay, I get centered. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all things that I said to you. Okay, and so, yeah, on YouTube, there's many different chaplets of Divine Mercy, you know, different songs, you know, that it's it's so much easier to remember if you can just sing it. Um, but let me give you the phrases really fast. And so there's uh, three main phrases in the whole entire, you know, chaplet of Divine Mercy. And so to uh, you first say a phrase to God the Father, Eternal Father, I offer thee body and blood, soul and divinity from your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world so you say that one time and then to lord jesus you say for the sake of your sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world and so you repeat that ten times and then after that you go back again and do the one to the father and ten to the son and you do that five five different times like that. And then the last time 
is to repeat, I mean, um, to say the following phrase to the Holy Spirit, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. And you say that three times. And um, oh, I just remembered in the very, very beginning of all this, it's the um, Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, and the Apostles Creed. So you say those three, I mean those four first, and then you do these phrases, and then you know you pray. You're praying for the whole world. You're praying for Jesus, you know, to you know have peace and um, or you know just so that the whole world can be safe. And maybe, you know, there will be more people that can be converted, you know, that maybe there will be some more lukewarm that will switch over, you know, and convert to Jesus. So, yeah, there's, you know, that that Jesus showed us that it will not be a tsunami that will make the, you know, the Statue of Liberty go down, but it'll be an earthquake. And we need to pray, pray for the world. All right, everyone, God bless.